Hi, welcome to online digital marketing training. In this video, I'm explaining about uh, how to increase mobile app installs with uh, Twitter ads. Okay, and uh, in my previous videos, I've already explained uh, how to increase followers and how to create a normal Twitter ads at the same time, uh, video views and everything. So anytime you can come back to my channel and do it. So let me go to this uh, campaign. So go to ads.twitter.com. Uh, if you're doing for the first time, it will be asking you your currently and time zone. And by default, it is US dollars. And uh, you can't change the settings later. Today only you create a Twitter cam account and you can't create the campaign. Minimum 30 days is required to create a campaign. Right. After that, create a campaign. Before going for the campaign, First of all, understand what is your objective here? Your objective is app installs. After that, whom you want to target and what is the bidding type and what is the creative? Then you'll be getting the results. So select the objective. There are different objectives here. I'm going for the app installs. And click on next. Now it will be going to the campaign. At campaign level, uh, give a campaign name. Okay. Important thing is, first of all, you should have an app which is registered on the Play Store. Okay. So I I already mentioned the app anyway. That's why I can choose it. And you haven't mentioned this, then create new. It'll open a new tab. Then it will be asking you whether it is Android or iPhone. If it is Android, what is the Google Play URL? Or ID for your app. So you might be knowing this, right? Place it over here and click on the save button. That's it. So that it will be available over here. So I already have that space and I'm selecting it. It's not mine anyway. I'm just uh, for explanation I'm using. And remember, if you want to use uh, for app installs, conversion tracking is mandatory. Without conversion tracking, this campaign is not useful anyway. How to do the conversion tracking? I already explained in another video. I'll be mentioning the link in the description. So please go through that. Campaign name. And what is your daily budget and total of budget? Total budget is not mandatory, it's optional. Based on how much amount you pay, it will take. And the start and end date also not mandatory, but if you have a specific dates, mention it. Yes, standard and accelerated, always standard is recommended. Twitter work in such a way that uh, it will try to serve your ad throughout the day. If it is accelerated, there is a possibility you can lose your budget immediately. Right, the campaign, then click on the next. It will go to the ad group. See guys, one ad group is enough. If you want to create uh, multiple ad groups, People create multiple ad groups to test uh, what kind of creative is working, what kind of age group is working, or else what kind of audience is working. So sometimes you can test with 21 to 30 how it is working, 30 to 40 working with the different ad groups. So if you won't, don't want to do a baby testing, just go with a normal one ad group. Here again, mentioning the budget, start and end dates are optional. What is important is bidding type. There are several bid types here. Automatic bid. Automatic bid means Twitter automatically will take care how much amount they want to charge for install. This is the best one, recommended one. But if you select target cost, right hand side, they'll clearly show you how much they're charging for install. So here again, there are two types anyway. You'll be paying for app click or app install. As of now, they're saying that. For click on app and going to your Play Store to your app, they're charging $1.99. Meaning when you can start with 0.59 also, 59 cents. But if you use per install, so it will increase. They're starting with the $15. This is huge anyway. Normal, if you use uh, Google Ads, they're charging around uh, a 50 cents. That's it, which is very cheaper anyway. But here also they're recommending this doesn't mean that you have to go to $15 anyway. If you want, you can start with $1 also. There are two types anyway. Uh, 
for applics or for install you can choose any one option anyway so for install is much better than the app click anyway right so if you choose maximum bid means how much you want to pay maximum within that budget only they'll be charging you if i say one dollar within one per dollar only they'll try to give there is a possibility less people it will reach anyway so always go with a good amount charge by install i will be showing you here there are different kinds of bidding methods here cost per app click bidding optimization click bidding cost per install bidding cpi this is one what i'm recommending anyway uh, where you exactly will be getting installed whereas cost per app click means they clicked on your ad be to the app after that whether they installed or not you don't know there is a possibility they will be uh, installing your app also for that they're not charging for click only they're charging it this is good anyway both you're getting the cost is very less whereas this the cost is highest uh, you, you might have seen clearly so the charging around uh, the showing 15 dollars okay now once you select uh yes here you should have a conversion tracking then only this option will be available i'll be mentioning in the next video first in the campaign i selected my app and uh, budget i give at the ad group level i mentioned what kind of bidding i'm selecting then next targeting targeting is always important anyway the tailor audience option this is good if you already running in campaigns previous you have audience data then only uh, tailored audience will be helpful if you doing for the first time leave about it target uh, gender whom you want to target and specific age group whom you want to target and location which place which country which city you want to target mention that and uh, yes i always explain in my previous videos that you have to narrow your audience in anyway. complete texas if you go you'll be getting followers but they might be relevant or not that's why uh, you can target by keywords means people who searching for the keywords like real estate uh, who mentioning in their tweet about real estate you can mention this who are actively going for the particular events who have a specific interest followers look alike your competitor uh, uh, twitter profile you can take who you are following for them only you'll be going people show interest on in the particular movies and tv shows so they can sell it i already explained in my previous videos go through that then after that uh just click on next option creative either you can use your uh, previous creatives or else you can start with your own creative both will work but uh, for uh, mobile app campaigns uh, so as of now my private tweets they're not uh, matching the specific size that's the reason i'll be selecting i'm creating a new campaign new creative over here one second yeah so if you want to upload uh, see tweets are there anyway you can create a new tweet over here click on that and start your tweet and after that click on this you can use image or else a video poll or else you can take a twitter card twitter card is always good actually uh, how to go for a twitter card so go for creatives cards they have uh, both uh, website cards and uh, app card either you can use image app or video app if i select image app they're asking to select an image element image you use it i'm just using the normal image um, primary app store territory where it is call to action button what do you want install play shop and uh, if it is iphone app you can choose it android app we already selected app 
card name card name this is for your reference anyway dnc app these are not required as of now then click on preview how it is looking see this is a call to action button is there right he'll be doing like that i just ignore it then save it now see where your uh, ad appearing ad placement in profiles someone searching users timeline and twitter audience platform twitter audience platform means uh, some websites and apps who are partner with the twitter they are also your ad will appear remember mobile app campaigns will be appeared only on mobile devices not on the desktop or laptop so if you don't want you can insert like this click on the next option so see the complete uh, how you did it everything is done click on the launch campaign so take one day time how it is working the campaign and see the analytics how much they charging for install based on that you come back to that and make changes okay so again i'm telling you mobile app campaigns your main intention is to get more installs so they'll be charging you cpi cost per install and uh, what is important is whom you target and how much you want to pay and what is your creative for creatives it's better initially first to go to the cards so go here for the creatives click on cards whether you want to represent with the image or video create it image app card or video app card okay that's it guys uh, i created a separate playlist for uh, twitter tutorial organically how to increase uh, followers and uh, different ads also created here so go to my playlist and uh, watch the videos if you have any questions uh, put a comment here so that i'll reply back to you when you creating campaigns also if you have any questions come back to my odmt website and put your query that's it guys thank you very much